So as we're sitting here at the back of the machine, on our left side, we'll move over here to start the equipment. And that's just done with this machine simply with the green button. After that, our throttle control for when we are in the rear of the vehicle is at the front here. We can keep it down right now while we're just getting warmed up though. As your machine, after you do start it, you do want to double check all your gauges. Make sure your oil pressure and temperatures are in the green safe operating area as well as your fuel. Every machine is going to be a little bit different. Get to know your machine and refer back to the owner's manual. That will keep you headed in the right direction. On this one here, we also do have all of our controls for our outside lighting on this keypad here. As you push those, those will start bringing on all of your outside lights in case you do need to work in the dark. On the bottom of the panel on this machine, you do have your safety beacon for the outside. And that's just turned on with that switch there. And then we do need to move to pulling our controls down to us. After that, on your right side here, you do have a control lock. You'll hit the unlock button and that makes it to where these joysticks are now active. Before we start working, we do need to go back to the other side now and lower both of our stabilizers. That's done with these levers here. And that'll help keep us stable while we're working. Before being able to Lower the arm, we do need to release the travel lock, and that's done here with this lever on this machine. Again, every machine may be different. Refer back to the owner's manual, they've got you covered. This one, we just pull it back towards us, and using the right joystick, we'll just push it away, and that'll lower our arm away from the lock, and then we can release it. After that, we do want to go through a full range check of all of our motions. We'll begin with the left side here. As we push this lever away, that will extend out our farthest arm. Back to the right side, if we push that one away from us, that will lower the arm some more. And then if we move it to the right, that will open our bucket. backhoe does come equipped with an extendable arm that's operated here on the floor with your foot if you push the top that will extend our arm out and if we push the bottom it will bring it all the way back in now we can bring our arm back in Now bringing this joystick to our left, we'll close our bucket. And our last movements we do need to check is our side to side swing and that's done with the left joystick here. As we move it to the right, that'll bring us around to the right side. And the same with going to the left. After we're all done working, we can bring everything back to the middle again. Bring our arms all the way in. And to latch our travel lock, again, we just pull this towards us. With our right stick pulled back, that'll raise our arm to the top. Lower your lock, and you're ready to go.